I think you may be getting another but rare buying opportunity in advanced micro devices. One of my favorite semiconductor companies, which is also better known as AMD. Under the leadership of Lisa Su, AMD has transformed itself from a maker of second-rate processors and graphics chips into a high-performance chip maker that can go toe-to-toe with Intel or NVIDIA. And the company keeps taking market share left and right. And that's why the stock's up 114% year-to-date. But AMD got hit today, sinking 3.6% after boutique research firm downgraded it based on valuation concerns. You know what? I think they're missing the point. And the stock is a buy. So let's dig in deeper with one of the most bankable execs in the world, Lisa Su, the president and CEO of AMD. Dig better sense of the incredible story and the turnaround five years deep. Lisa Su, welcome back to Mad Money. Lisa, congratulations. It's been five years, dollar 80, I count, to $39. Should we call that a successful journey or should we talk about product and success? You know, Jim, it's great to be here, especially with you here in San Francisco. Uh, look, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, what we've done over the last five years. It is all about product. Um, as I say, you know, we are about bringing um, high performance computing to um, you know, these great markets. Right. And we've had a good run. We've had a good run. Well, so. it's more than that. You've done, you've inspired your team. I, I can talk about nuts and bolts. I can look at debt and leverage as another way to look at how you've made the balance sheet great. That was one of your priorities when you came in. Gross margins getting better and better. Uh, I know the holy grail is to get it to 63, 64. Could that happen? The key for us is to continue our focus on you know, product generation after product generation. Okay. So when you look at the markets that we are going after, you know, the data center market, you know, fantastic market. Um, everybody needs more computing horsepower, right. you know, gaming, um, PCs. And, you know, our goal is, you know, again, we're on a journey. Um, but we've we've made good progress on ensuring that we have leadership products. And and with that, everything else comes, including margins, including balance sheet and, and all that stuff. Well, I want to talk about that because recently you reported a quarter it was a really great quarter. And the stock goes from 33 down to 31 as people think it's bad. And then, of course, it goes right to 40 because it was a good quarter. There have been 14 dips similar, 14 dips since you came in. All obviously opportunities since we're seeing you at all time highs. But one of the things I think people don't understand is the product. And we're going to go, we're going to take a travel on. You're going to take me around Italy. Tell me what you have. All right, cool. Well, look, you know, the thing about um, semiconductors and chips, and you know this really well, is, you know, we have to make bets, you know, three to five right. years in advance to, to really decide, hey, where, where is the world going? And so when you look at data centers, you know, whether you're talking about the biggest data centers that, you know, Google right. or Microsoft or Amazon build, you know, we want to be the guts inside that because everybody needs, you know, more computing horsepower. Right. So, so you create a Rome, you create a Naples, you create a Milan. You know my product well, That's names. my Italian technology. That's why I'm doing the travelogue. I think it's important because in order for people to, to buy the 14th, 15th, and 16th dip, they have to know that Rome wasn't built in a day but is loved that, by, right. by, by, by uh, Microsoft, that, that Azure loves Naples, you, the Amazon Web Services loves Naples. These things matter. That, and we got to tell that story because otherwise what happens, people say it's momentum and there's nothing there. These are just uh, revolutionary for not just AMD but for anybody. We, we've made some really good decisions. You know, our roadmap. So now I have to talk about our, our cities. Thank you. It does go Naples, Rome, Milan. <laughs> Uh, we're right now in, in the middle of our Rome launch. It's right. our, our second generation data center chip. And what it really allows us to do is just do a lot more computing with less power and less cost. And so, uh, you know, when we think about that, that is the holy grail. That you have is to, people have to understand that it doesn't run hotter cheaper and powerful. That's right. It's all okay. about total cost of ownership right. in these systems. And, uh, you know, the nice thing about it is it, it applies to, to big and small things, Jim. So, you know, high performance computing. Uh, we won um, the world's, uh, you know, biggest installation that we, we're going to have with uh, Frontier at right. Oak Ridge National Labs. That's a huge supercomputer. Um, this is the stuff that you can use in your back office as well. And so we're really excited about the data center market. Well, I, I think that there are people who periodically think that the data center market may be not strong. Uh, Forrest Norad, CPU and GPU uh, head, says, said, use the word tremendous demand this week. I mean, that doesn't sound like anything. It's in cyclical decline. So we have, uh, you know, this week is an important week right. in computing. It was uh, uh, the supercomputing conference, and we had a nice showing there. Right. Um, it is one of those areas where I think you're going to see, um, you know, basically secular growth in computing demands. Right. And you're going to do it in different ways. You're going to do it with some CPUs, some GPUs. 
you know, some um, specialty chips as well. And the key is we want AMD to be at the center of that. And, and really, you know, we view it as helping our customers unlock, right. you know, what they're trying to do. And it's a, these are the big ones, though. It's Microsoft, it's Azure and Amazon. These are the most marquee accounts that you could have. A absolutely. What we like to do is we like to develop our roadmaps with these, you know, um, you know really top customers out five years out. Right. And Those say, are partnerships. Those are not are, make are it and they will come. That's right. These are how do we, you know, change the world together? Right. That's what we're trying and to do. And I mention it because the notion of stickiness is something that I always thought about with Intel. Now, I've known you long enough. You've never thrown anyone under the bus. You actually never said a bad word about anybody as opposed to, well. <laughs> uh, and, but we know that Intel put out a note yesterday which said that their supply is still constrained. Immediately, people are saying, well, what does it mean for AMD? How about we just step back and say, hypothetically, if a large uh, competitor is supply constrained, that has to be good for anyone who has supply. So, so let's talk a little bit about the market, okay. and then I'll come back to this. You know, the market for You're PCs. You're allowed to say the word Intel. I, I am? Yes. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Okay, so the market for PCs is actually a really good market. Okay, it's one of these markets. It's a $30 billion market for silicon. And um, you need um, high-end desktops. You need, you know, notebooks. You need um, commercial oh uh, notebooks and desktops. That's what we build. That's what we build. And if you look at our track record, um, it's Ryzen. In right. the uh, PC space, we love Ryzen. Uh, it's a very, um, very, very balanced roadmap. And right. for the last eight quarters, we've gained share every single quarter. Which is really incredible. so. Um, I view this as an opportunity for us to continue to satisfy um, this incredible demand. And we're still, you know, we're still on the um, on the cusp of really, you know, showing what's possible. You know, I I'm really excited about um, the commercial PC market. I think that's a place where AMD technology can do very well. Right. Uh, we do very well with consumers, so we're coming right. up on Black Friday and Christmas. Right, and right. hey, if anyone's buying a PC, you know, I wouldn't mind if they bought AMD. But, but so, you should tell them what has AMD inside. The ones that they're probably big, the biggest name. Oh, you, you will see HP's, Dell, right. Lenovo, Asus, Acer. All of these guys have AMD in them. And if you want to build your own, a lot of the build your own PC guys, you know, you know, people like to tinker, right. buy one of our graphics cards and one of our. Um, Ryzen desktop processors, and you'll have a great system for gaming. Okay, I want to talk about game for one second, which is that a lot of people think it's small. Uh, Jensen Wong was on earlier. I know you know Jensen very well. It, it just seems like gaming gets gets bigger and bigger. It's a secular growth, very multi-billion dollar, not niche business. You know, what is great about gaming is just how many people it touches. Right. And, you know, we're not talking about... Um, one type of gamer. We're talking about how do you touch billions yeah. of gamers? Right. And you think, you know, you can game on your mobile phone, you can game on your PC, you can game in the cloud, you can game in all of these places. And so we like to believe that um, we're a big part of that, you know, with our gaming infrastructure. You know, we're excited about game consoles. Sure. Game consoles is another place. Uh, with uh, Sony and Microsoft that we're very well partnered. So yeah, gaming's a great market. Well, you've got, you are a great engineer who is producing great product for a great market. Congratulations. Again, I'm going to mention $1.80 to $39. I don't have anyone else who's got that record. Thank you to Dr. Lisa Sue. I still like to call you that. She's the president and CEO of AMD and a hero to many. We have my next back to the break. Thank you so much, Jim. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.